In the previous video, some students asked how to create the effect of swaying grass. In this episode, I will show you how to create such an animation in Blender. First, open Blender, then click on General, delete the three default objects by pressing X, and then press Shift plus A to create a new mesh. Select the plane and subsequently navigate to the particle system in order to incorporate a particle into it. Modify the emitter settings to hair. Then click on Advanced Settings, modify its length to 0.2, adjust the quantity to 3000 and configure the segments to 8. Next go to Subset 5 and switch it to Interpolation Type. Once the display count is set, keep the render count at 100, then proceed to Operations. Modify the endpoint dimension to 0.2 and configure the randomness factor to 0.3. Subsequently navigate to the physics section and adjust the Brownian motion to 0.06. At this point, let's incorporate a material into it, select the item and open a window. Change the type here to Shader Editor. Subsequently, move forward to establish a completely new material node. Expand it from the foundational color, find the image texture color and then proceed to open it. I have successfully downloaded an image that effectively illustrates grass, so it now embodies this particular style. Alright, close this section, extract it, and then utilize Shift plus A to create an empty object and elevate it slightly upwards. Subsequently, proceed to the physics section and modify it to a force field. Adjust it for a consistent flow intensity, you have the option to fine tune it, set it to 0.3 and observe, then rotate by utilizing the R key. Now that we have established this particular style, to provide it with a continuous dynamic flow, we open up the side panel, press the shortcut key N, then adjust the view accordingly and apply this expression to its x-axis rotation, hashtag frame. Divide it into 30 equal sections. Let's look now. We possess this particular kind of breeze animation, it is relatively uncomplicated. Have you examined it? 